We are finally having a tattoo tour. I am so excited. to my youtube channel if you're new here i am i'm getting Lobu, and welcome to the party baby <laughs> i know that's right and if you're a returning subscriber welcome 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 back fam. so in today's video as you can see by the title of the video i'm doing something um i'd never thought of doing but i'm excited because i'm a fan of tattoos so we are finally having a tattoo tour i actually wanted to shoot this video when i have like five more tattoos but at the same time i'm like okay let me just do this video um because now i have enough tattoo to do the tattoo tour and then if i add more and i feel like okay they are enough again to do another tattoo tour then i'm gonna do it so please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel that's the first thing you should do please hit that subscribe button okay and in this tattoo tour i'm gonna be rating if i remember properly the pain of the the tattoo like from like the scale of 10 you know i'm gonna rate the pain in scale of 10 and then tell you which one is my favorite i'll just try to go according to like i, I don't know kind of babies and we can't say ascending order because we're not counting but yeah in that way like from the first tattoo i ever got of i've ever gotten to the last one that i got it's clear we're good and i'm gonna tell you my favorite tattoo right and also i was supposed to go do a tattoo today and i'm not sure if i'm gonna still go tomorrow so yeah but i, I won't vlog because it's nothing interesting so if you have me on instagram or tiktok i might post day not here on youtube because i feel like it's just a small tattoo for a vlog let me just jump straight into the video without wasting your time please don't forget to hit the subscribe button i beg so there's some tattoos that i'll try to i'll just attach pictures because especially the ones that are at the bottom right so i'll just attach pictures and then with these ones i can show you we'll see um this 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 right so this is the first tattoo i ever gotten so pain wise Please, I beg, 7 out of 10. Mainly because it was my first tattoo, right? Um, I didn't know the pain of the tattoo. Like, I never knew the pain of the tattoo. It was just me trying things out. And, ma'am, was I not crying? I, just, I think I lost the clip. So, I got the tattoo in 20... In my first year, 2019. Yes, I got the tattoo in 2019. Literally, no meaning. And I forgot to say, because I'll just say if there's a meaning or what um there's no meaning um i was just trying things out and then i i actually um had accompanied my roommate i went to and i was like mm, this looks painful but like it's worth the experience so can i just do it and i did it and I, I did it i did it i just looked for something in the internet which was there and then this tattoo be equally like every almost everyone why ends are the same thing so i was like okay why not let me just get this shit let's get this shit let's get this shit right before I continue, before I continue, can I just make a disclaimer? Tattoos don't have to always have meanings. I don't know if that makes sense, like if that's the correct English, but tattoos don't have to always have meanings, right? You can you can literally just get anything if you like it, get anything that's aesthetically pleasing to you you can get anything just to decorate your body because it's your temple so do whatever you want to do with it and you don't have to answer to anybody right so i'm done i'm done moving right along the second tattoo i got was my butt tattoo i don't know Uti, what was going on in my head that day i actually don't know what was going on like in my head that day but i just decided in that moment that i want to get an ass tattoo you know was footy was a good opportunity to get it because that guy was having a sale i'm like i'm a bad bitch i'm a die a bad, bad, bad bitch i was born a bad bitch so let's get this shit yo let's get this shit let's get this shit anyway i went to get a butt tattoo i'm gonna show it here as well um no meaning at all 
weird because most people's first tattoos always have like not always most people's first tattoos have meanings and mine don't like the first two they don't don't so i just literally decided that i want i want to get a rose and i got it and the pain was like three out of ten it was i don't even really like it was not painful because something that was painful in gikumbula gashi you know so i was it was crazy it was crazy it was like i want a tattoo on my butt and i knew Guti gone gone there's no coming like there's no going back if i got a tattoo i got it you know the third tattoo i got which was it oh it was this one now i can show because now okay no i have like four tattoos big bottom and then i have so in total i have 10 i have 10 tattoos right so i have six here and then i have four we bought like you know the bottom part of my body so the third tattoo i got was this one i also tried to attach is tombe but this is how it looks like i have a vlog actually of this tattoo this is how it looks like mm -hmm. i know that's right that's cute okay the reason why that this one has a meaning um this one has a meaning if you are a regular here and you've watched my previous videos you would literally understand these things was the shogumanji right so the reason why i got this tattoo was because um to me it symbolizes um self-love it symbolizes me being there for me you have said it like now this sounds like a song because i literally say the same same thing all the damn time so this symbolizes self-love to me as you can see this is like a, a person or a woman hugging herself this symbolizes self-love to me it symbolizes me being there for me it symbolizes independency it symbolizes um me supporting myself me bouncing back being resilient like um is it resilient 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 whatever but like me bouncing back from situations that i never thought i would me like basically being there for me and self-love yeah I think I've said enough. I, like, I don't even have to explain why I'm saying that. But yes, hence I'm saying, if you are regular um, and you've watched my videos, you would know. You know, so if you're not a regular, please go check out my videos. There are so many, not so many, but there are quite a few um, sit down videos where I just vent or become vulnerable and speak about my life and things I've gone through yes and things yeah then the pain whoo the pain it was seven out of ten yo maybe foot is because it has been it has been a year since no not even two years so i did the first two 2019 and then 2020 i didn't get any tattoos and then 2021 that's when i got this one so all the tattoos that I'm just, all the tattoos after the two are, were all done in one year. So I got eight tattoos in 2021. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is like almost like we rip. Yeah, you rip nyana and you shall lose. So it's here, there's like Ilon and Ngapi Nyama. So it was like really painful. But you know, I'm in Bogoto when it comes to tattoos. So I'm a hold on. I'm a big gazelle because... I love that number four tattoo after this one which one did i get i'm trying to think i above from now i forgot which, which one is next yo i forgot which one is it was it this one hi right, let's just move to this one i don't remember what's a ep AIE next you know i just forgot so i got this one it's not going to show properly but i'll try i'll try to attach a picture this is it so it's written feel heal leave explore love and change i got this from pinterest and it just made sense in that moment because i was going through the most and i was like i want to get this shit and i went to get it um i don't know what i was going um through i don't know i don't know what was going on but i definitely was going through shit and i just felt like Gucci, the needle will comfort me and some way because it is so nice when you are going through the most like it makes your tattoo even more sentimental like you know what you got this when you're going through the most and it was comforting you know it was my shoulders crying 
not a dick to ride on okay so i just got this and you i just don't even have to explain you know so this is it it is what it is it does what it does it does what it does and it's whatever so yes i got this one i was going through the most and then there's this one this one has a meaning picture this is it now see so it's recent keep going with um a semicolon so the i is replaced with e semicolon i got this tattoo as well when i was going through the most right so also there's that um i think the influence of the the word keep going is from jenny Aiko's song which is ways standing for why aren't you smiling um i started listening to that song last year a lot you know and when i was going through the most it just kept me going it just said like it is what it is it is what it is but keep going i don't know i'll ch i can't put the song i can't but i'm on fagula and i need in the background just for like a few seconds so i don't get copyrighted for a few seconds nizo is with the team just cut it but yeah the song is a very nice and 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 sentimental song i think it makes sense you get what i'm saying you know and yeah to me it's like um i remember first when i was writing exams it was because i got this when i was writing exams i was this close to giving up i was listening to this song over and over again you know i just said keep going one was in your go i don't know shit hey shit is about to go down i'll fail but i just kept it going and the reason why there's a semicolon in between like we replacement the i is because now i began getting panic attacks last year of which i just never believed because i'm someone who actually goes through mental health i just never paid attention to those things i was not fully informed i still i'm not fully informed but at least i'm a bit informed now about these things and yeah i got it because a semicolon if you search it stands it says like the meaning of a semicolon tattoo says standing in solidarity to against sorry standing in solidarity against um suicide mental illness or anxiety panic attacks depression and whatever whatever right so i got it because the uh, the, um, the semicolon is there for me as the acknowledgement that i actually have um you know i have anxiety i i have panic attacks but now they're better now i can try and control them like I, yeah yeah i you know i try now to control them but i have anxiety this was me acknowledging the fact that i actually do have these things so i'm also trying to you know learn a lot about these um but yeah i am actually glad i have a friend who is informed about these things so when i don't know anything she's there um for me to ask whatever that i want to ask you know so yeah that's why i got keep going you know and the pain uh with the hour the pain is like four out of ten even this one so it's the same you know same place but now but again same what what but yeah you should send out anyone and then i have this one i um the okay before we get to this one let's get to the dates the i'm gonna show it here the 1947 and the 1956 let's see if i got it right yes i got 1947 and 1956 basically because i i've said this footage on one of my vlogs after getting the tatties i i was brought up by abogok so at first i was staying with my mother's mother and then when she was sick wang tata wangisa kabo babam and when i got to my dad's place i was given basically to my grandmother who became my mother so in my whole life so i got these dates um as a tribute to and i'm sorry for saying this why do i love yeah i got these on my legs because i believe i'm banami i would have gotten them here or somewhere here but i was like nah Let's get them in your way because to me it makes more sense good see these people i believe they're my angels and they walk with me and yeah this that and that so i got the dates on my legs and then this one oh my god oh the pain the pain the pain the pain how oh, the pain four out of ten as well like not bad four out of ten and then this one. Oh my god, this is my favorite tattoo. Ooh, one of my favorites. 
but like number one top of the list top two but not number two okay this is my favorite one of my favorite tattoos but this is like the most favorite so let's just say it's my favorite tattoo i love it like i've never i've always been the person who would say i'm never gonna get tattoos on my chest i'm never gonna you know and this other day you know one thing i don't like i don't like tattoos is the lago collarbone or here i just don't i don't like those tattoos but this one just you know i remember saying i want something here but i don't know what and this is just for aesthetics this is just me um decorating my body it has no meaning it is nothing it was me saying this girl here is a piece of art get at work and i'm about to do more of art on my body so i was looking for words actually like i remember the day before i went to get a tattoo i was looking for words looking for words i was actually thinking of writing muse or that but not yeah dime and i was like mm -mm, let's get art which is e3 i was like let me get out and i got it the pain eight out of ten likely this is shots hey a tattoo here give my thumb more like ma'am mm -mm. it's painful likely it's shots it's shots and it has no shading as you can see like ma'am this is cute i love it like i love the fact that Gucci, it's now in the form of ex an accessory like I, sometimes I don't even see the need to wear my necklace because I feel like this whole thing even when I don't have a neck piece on I am good because baby I have my accessory my permanent accessory hmm, child and yeah yeah eight out of ten the pain was very painful for not even eight nine out of ten please as moving my next tattoo singla and then I did go there. I, go, I went there. I went there. I went there. I went there. Oh, so I walked in. Is it this side? Is it this side? What's oh, this side? Okay, I for, I forget about this tattoo at times. So I have this one. I know people have been asking me what does it mean. So I wrote it in Arabic. I don't know if it's of Nadala. I'll try to also attach a picture. Yeah, but I got. I actually was never gonna get um the saying and get and like the quote or the saying or whatever you may call it because I was just happy when I wanted to get it out. I don't I don't I don't even remember Guti um being funu balani but I was gonna like write whatever that I wanted to you know in Arabic but um something happened um, my phone broke and it was like ten days old. I, I you've seen gui 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 my short time I got an iPhone 13 and in 10 days it broke <laughs> in 10 fucking days it died you know and i was going through the most so i feel like this gang is a matter to njalo like he, not njalo but like there are days where he would be like when are you coming to get a tattoo and when he says that which makes it even more like it makes the experience even more nicer if i'm going through the most and i get a tattoo so he texted me he's like when are you coming to get a tattoo i'm like i'm coming tomorrow I, did i say today i got like same day he called me or texted me or whatever no he did not i don't remember what happened but yeah he called me because i had to use my little sister's phone he called me he's like when are you coming to get a tattoo guys i went straight away to get a tattoo so this is written it gets worse before it gets better so in that situation i knew good i got this phone and my content is, go is gonna get better but now it just became even more worse i was like child child i know god good it's gonna get better but let me just get the shit let's get the shit and i just wrote good it gets worse as as comforting words um gule situation being good so it was like more i was comforted by the words that i just thought of it in the text scene i'm like actually i don't want to get this anymore i'm changing around these words and then i got this and yeah this is it i love it Yo, it's my second favorite even though sometimes i don't see it but it's my second favorite and this is my ninth tattoo the pain uh ah guys two out of ten honestly two out of ten it's not really painful and we have my last tattoo which is this one this is this was a gift for my birthday from my tattoo artist this was just a gift so literally no meaning pain one 
out of 10 um the, this was just for aesthetics so so we just sat down and went through pinterest and we i chose that i was like okay let me get this shit you know let's get this shit let's get this shit this i love it but sometimes i feel like the placement of it i in cars because i wanna get you know i wish i had gotten it but no i wish i had gotten it like here you know but nah it's still, still cute i still love it but you know sometimes i feel like hey, no regrets but i i would have you know placed it somewhere better maybe here you know here or like no okay not here yeah but somewhere here you know or here in July is on a corner, but at the same time, I'm like, are oh, we good? Still, I still have space, so I could get tattoos anywhere, anywhere, and you know. But yeah, that is it. In total, I have ten tattoos. Please don't mind my name. I have ten tattoos in total, and I actually thought, good, I am done. Like I'm taking a break for a year. Child, I might be getting a tattoo this week. That is it. We are done. With this tattoo tour, I'm excited that I finally did this video. Oh, child. Only I've been wanting to do it, but yeah. So, yeah, I really hope you do enjoy my videos. Um, if you have any questions about tattoos, please drop them down below. I'll gladly answer your questions if I know something. If I don't, then I'll tell you. Because, okay, I don't, but I'll ask for you. We tattoo artist yami and everything and also I'll just write his handle here so that you can check him out because he did i wouldn't say all oh, eight of my tattoos which is like the, the majority so what i'm gonna do at the back and him, so. yeah that's the end of our video i hope you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more content um yeah we are trying and improving shift so until next time guys thank you so much for watching my video bye